Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to the channel. So as the title of this video suggests, I am going to be showing you how you can fix your graphics output when using an Intel iGPU with CMU emulator itself. All of the footage you are currently watching was captured using my Intel UHD 630. This GPU is the integrated graphics chip that comes with the Intel i7-8700K. However, the fix that I am going to show you should work with lots of older Intel integrated graphics. Okay, first things first, let's jump across to my desktop and I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do. So down in the description of this video, you will find this text document right here. Before we do anything, you are going to need to enable extensions on your files. In order to do this, simply open File Explorer, come to this view tab and you need to make sure that this box right here is ticked. Once you tick this box, you will now be able to see file name extensions for all of your different file types. As you can see, having mine selected now shows up this .txt after this text document. Once we open this text document, inside you can see that there is command to start CMU.exe with the no legacy mode. It is this no legacy mode that you are going to need to activate in CMU emulator in order to improve your visuals and your performance in your games. I'm just going to quickly click file, save and close this document. Next, what we need to do is right click on this text file and come to rename. What you now need to do is you need to change this document from a .txt to a .bat. Simply change this to bat, click enter and you should get a prompt asking you if you want to change it. Click yes and you can now see that this has now become a bat file. Next we want to open up our CMU folder whichever is the latest version you are using and you want to drag and drop this bat file into this folder. You need to make sure that your CMU exe is still named the default of CMU.exe. Now all you need to do in order to start up CMU in this no legacy mode is simply select this bat file we have previously created and you are now ready to load into your games on your Intel iGPU with much better performance and a hell of a lot less visual errors than we were previously seeing. So when we actually boot back into game on our Intel iGPU you can see that the visuals are significantly increased even though I couldn't show you an in-game FPS counter due to the fact that my overlays just weren't working on my iGPU, I can tell you that there was about 10 or 15 more FPS using this fix than what I was previously getting when not using it. You can also see that while every visual error isn't completely cleaned up, it is 100 times better than what we were previously seeing when we were previously not using this no legacy mode. So while this will work for lots of Intel iGPU users, it unfortunately will not work for everyone. Please do let me know down in the comments if you have an Intel iGPU and this does or does not work for you. That way I can compile a list of CPUs and Intel iGPUs that this no legacy mode does indeed work for. So once again guys, cheers for checking out the video, remember to like it if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, and as always, subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me.